Hello my friends and welcome to the next exciting season of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This time we're going to be playing as the castle town on one of our beloved random maps. Single scenario, it's going to be a extra large map. And I've built a special template just for this performance here. It's called PG Water Matter 02. And it's a six player map where I'm hoping we'll get plenty of action and adventure out on the open seas. Which is quite hard to generate in random maps. But I've been doing a lot of messing around with the template editor to see if we can get that right. We're going to be on the hardest possible difficulty, and uh, we're going to play as the castle. I am going to randomise my colour though, um, so I'm going to use my dice to do that. And our colour is going to be number two, which is blue. Okay, so that's all we're doing is picking castle. Everything else about this run is going to be completely random. So without further ado, let's hit the begin button. See how we get on. Okay. Caitlin looks out at its lush, lovely countryside. And this is why I wanted to play the castle, if I'm honest. Is I just want that lovely green feeling. You start above ground in a lovely sort of environment. There's no hell pits of, you know, evil or, you know, I don't know, stronghold type rough ground gremlins and snow or anything like that and Caitlin looks out at treasure sitting right in front of her which what could be better than that okay let's find out about Caitlin she is before she was granted command Caitlin was considered by some to be possessed by evil spirits despite these claims donations to her church were unsurpassed when she was still in the church's ranks and as we can see 350 gold per day oh yeah that is fantastic. That's just so, so good in an environment where we're starting with absolutely nothing, except we have five free stones, so that's our bonus. That's great. Caitlin, fantastic. Excellent. Thank you for your continuing tithes to the Church of Paul, as we'll call it. Pretty decent starting army as well, and all this free stuff right on the front door. Let's have a quick look in Bretonia. Uh, interesting name for those of you familiar with the Warhammer universe. And we can see... Right off the gate, we've got pikemen and archers. The archer tower is built and ready to go, which is very, very good. I'm loving everything I'm seeing so far. We can choose from Oren with his archery and a pretty good army. Rissa is a mercury person with an army that won't matter. And the ultimate artif artifact may be found up in the highlands. We must remember that. Okay, so much information to take in before we've even made a single decision yet. This game is incredible. For those of you who are new to Heroes 3, you've clicked on this video and you're like, what is all this fuss about? Just give it a go, guys. Get immersed. It is the greatest game ever made by human hands. Now, what am I going to do? I've got no resources, so there's no reason for Caitlyn to stick around. There's no reason to leave any up troops behind um, with speed 4. There's a chance I can actually fight... Oh, look at the stuff. Lots of pixies. I'm probably going to want to fight them. Um, yeah, let's get this money first. Oh. <laughs> That's so good for day one. That is so good. I swear this is a random template with random stuff. Like, I haven't tuned it to be super generous. Okay, got to be careful here. These first few steps are really, really key. Um... What are we doing with our money? I'm tempted to go back and buy the archers because there's so much more money available and that unlocks this. I kind of like a little mini snowball before we get the town hall. How confident am I that we can do that? Or is it better to go here? Might be better to get this first. And then we get the scout on as well. Still wants to go that way. Okay. It's not much more of a scout. Yeah, I think I like this, right? Because tomorrow I can buy these archers. So Town Hall's our first port of call. And look at that upgrade. And visually it looks an incredible upgrade. And that's because it is. We've literally doubled our income by investing 2,500 gold. So to do that on day one is rare and excellent. Um, I could set off now. I have a little bit of movement left. These guys cost 900. I also have the Marksman Upgrade, which is going to be available tomorrow. 
Um, do we do that instead? How much does that cost? We could spend a grand on that tomorrow. And then... I'll nearly be able to have Marksman on day two. And they will make quite short work of the Pixies. I think I want to do that. So I'm going to waste her moves. Yes. Very rare again on day one to waste any moves, but here we are. So, in the tower, not the tower, in the castle, these troops are just unfair. Marksmen are ridiculous. Okay, it's a shame I can't afford to do all of it, but... So, I'm putting myself a little bit behind, but that's because... Um, we're going to get so much done against the Pixies. Um... Gets lots of pixies. How do I want to configure this? Like a tight formation. Well, maybe do it like this. And I think we'll leave these guys here for now. Okay. Yeah. Caitlin knows cure. That's cool. Yeah, I just shoot right off the bat, right? Because they're all going to wait anyway. They already have waited. Just kill as many of these as I can, I think. Two shots, and look at the casualties. I mean... Just nine of them. It's enough to totally wreck their best stack. <laughs> okay, um... I don't want to do this. Guess I'll put the griffins here, these guys here. I don't know if I love, 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 super love the new pikeman artwork in Horn of the Abyss. Uh, you know, like, was the old design really that bad? I don't know. Maybe it was, and I just never noticed because I played it for so long. Yeah. So I think this time we just kill that. And that just murders that whole stack. That's just so unfair. It's like you never even got to play. It's just unfair. Marksmen are ridiculous. Now, surrounding them with dwarfs, I'm not ready to do that. That would be a bridge too far. I can go back round or I can come down here to the stone. I think that's a bit more important. And it might be time to hire Orin. Just about. Can't afford him yet. 2,000 gold. That's a pretty good day too. Happy with that. I don't need this Mercury or the attack skill just yet. I do have a spell book. Oh, this is a pretty important decision here. Is it Orin time? I don't actually know how big this landmass is. Pretty low regret to just come to the shrine and see... View Earth? Uh, yeah, let's do View Earth. Hmm. Viewing some earth here. Hmm. Okay. It looks to be a pretty big continent. And we can see that the coast is up here, up top. So if Oren runs around here, he's just going to see coast. But there's quite a bit to do, with that said. I just realised my camera's a little bit big and a bit sort of out in the middle. I'll move that now in a second. Um of underground it's a smattering of underground it's mainly an overworld map template so that doesn't surprise me this artifact is incredible pendant of courage it'll be guarded very heavily by something nasty uh, what should I do Caitlin could come back for those archers I don't want to spend that money on her just yet. I think I want to keep going. I don't need to know what this is yet. 
Several Lix warriors will be too hard for us. That's a bad scout just there. That wasn't good. All right, come to here. Okay, observatory. I think we want to hit the observatory before making that investment decision in Auron. Uh, but we could do a low regret investment like the marketplace. Yes, that's right. Here it is, lovely bustling marketplace with colourful roofing. Such a familiar sight. So comforting. Oh, just awesome. Uh, right, let me fix my camera here. Yeah, 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 so I could buy Oren and just gallop around here and recklessly do that, and that's probably what I am supposed to do. But I'm just going to be a little bit... cautious. What are these? A throng of orcs. It would be amazing to get this. It gives plus three to morale and luck. And this thing's pretty good as well. This gives you... St you've got to fight the steel golems and your prize is giants if you, if you beat them. Uh, this is Horn of the Abyss for those of you who... <clears throat> New to the game, you can either play on the vanilla sort of shadow release version, shadow of death version of the game, or the Horn of the Abyss community expansion, which I strongly recommend. Um, a throng of orcs. Sadly, our composition and what we're trying to do doesn't love a throng of orcs. Really, really hates it actually. Um, so that's a bit of a sad face on that. If we were playing a different faction, like I don't know, Stronghold or something, Tacticsy. Um, Cove, maybe we could get over there, um, get over there and mess the orcs up, um, ru ruin their day, kind of thing. But I just don't think we're going to be able to build towards that fight, um, especially with Oren coming in possibly as a marksman buffing guy, like a, an archery dude. Okay, so we are blocked off down here at the bottom. We're at the bottom of our own terrain. Here are the highlands, okay, and here are the here is the desert. Okay, and these are both terrain types that come with one of the abyss. Unclear what's going on here. If this is a, if this is a neutral town, it looks like it might be neutral. If we can figure out how to get there. Uh, so let's continue with Caitlin. Let's take the money. Ah, uh, let's grab the XP first. A smooth stone on the face of this pillar begins to swirl as you approach and looking into it, you're amazed to see answers to questions you've pondered for years. The stone suddenly goes still, but you realise you've learned much. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, I want water to matter. I do. I, I mean, I do want water to matter, but I've no idea if she's going to end up anywhere near the water. Right, and this is just too good for to say no to, so I'm going to take that for now. Let's stop by the hut. He wants the pendant of death. In his younger days, he would have done it himself, but now he's way too old. And um, he wants you to bring something that might look like the pendant of death, even if it isn't the real one. He'll still reward your efforts. A bit strange. Also, got this guy we walked past. We can find out what he wants. Yeah. I'm going to want to bring Lauren down to that seeing stone at some point as well. I think we are hiring him now, though. Um, he can run this way. Okay, let's hire Orin and then decide what we're going to do. Orin. Orin the Knight, Speciality Archery. He trained with one of Varathia's best siege tacticians during his early military service. Any archers under his command learn quickly to shoot at targets behind obstacles. Well, well, well. How fortunate he gets a 5% per level. Okay, so he needs to level up before that matters. But even basic archery means that his marksman will do 10% more damage, which is really, really nice. I can afford to do this. Okay. And Oren could gallop forth now. I could build a mage guild. Don't really want to do that. I could go here. She goes to there. How many moves will I have left after that? None. <laughs> just get this and wait for her. Seems a bit stupid, but... Like it's not ideal. Get that. Okay, let's do this. It's not very good. Uh, I'll come back to about here. Okay. That's not too bad. 
As for back home, we're ready, we're ready to start investing. I think we care. We we have to make a decision about barracks. You can't get the you can't get this thing, the Griffin Tower. You need a blacksmith for that as well, the Griffin Tower man. In the tier list videos, my first tier list video of all the creatures, I was banging on about how great Griffins are, and I'd forgotten that you've got to go barracks first. It's tier four first, then Griffin Tower, then Bastion to get the upgraded um, three per week. Um. They're, they're harder to get. They're harder to get than I remembered in that video. And then I did an update for one of the abyss, and I acknowledged that, and I moved the griffins around. But now that I'm looking at it again, I'd, I'd actually forgotten how. Even just looking planning ahead, it's like I'm not going to have griffins until the end of week two, as things stand, because I've got all these other things I've got to do first. Um, blacksmith has to be built at some point. If I build the mage guild, I feel kind of stupid because I should have bought a spell book. This needs a blacksmith as well. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better about griffins. Um, I think it's pretty low regret, right, to just build the smith. I love the size of the smith in this town. It's huge. <laughs> and you can buy blisters here. Okay, which is pretty cool. Probably the best of the three things you can buy. With ammo carts, I would love it if the Horn of the Abyss developers made ammo carts matter. Um, I don't know, have any of you ever found any relevance or use Ever been in a fight where the ammo card ended up mattering? I don't know. Okay, let's leave it there for today. Caitlin. Oh, so okay, this is green. And this is something that's purple. Alright. So we're up against Factory and Conflux. Your neutralness. What happens if I get that and then go there? Do I lose momentum? I think she does a bit. So, I'll just walk past the stone. I'm not investing in these other things. She's already been there, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Alright, Oren takes the soldiers. Look at that. We've got 20 of these now? <laughs> uh, other way around. Hang on. Swap armies. Give me them. Give me them. I will be slow. Okay. So I still like Caitlyn as a hero, but I'm looking at the two of them now and thinking, who do I want to start leveling up and getting the most experience? I think Oren is better than Caitlyn. The 350 gold is never getting better than it already is. Uh, I don't have a mage guild yet. I will eventually get one, but it's not a very magic heavy town, you know? Um, it would be different if she had a speciality, like some kind of fancy spell, like Frostering or whatever. I think there's a, um, yeah, there's a Adelaide or something gives you bonuses for Frostering and she knows it, that kind of thing. Then I'd be a bit more interested, but Caitlyn can just be Caitlyn, and I don't need to make her better. Um, finally gets the wood online. That's a little bit late, day five. Um, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. But... We're a long way ahead economically than I normally am at this point on day five. Thanks to all the piles of gold that have been lying around. Okay, City Hall or Barracks is our key decision. So we have 3,000. Tomorrow is day six or seven. So we've got 6,000 gold in total between now and day one. This costs five grand, which is another two. So that's seven grand. Uh, I have the wood and I have the ore, so I can have my city hall up at the beginning of day two next week, or I can delay all of that by two whole days uh, in order to get the barracks up. Those two missing days are literally two grand of income, right? And it really boils down to whether or not we think we need to hire troops next week as well. I think I can do all this without. Well, I don't want to. Sh I don't want to do this because I'm not going to be able to get over there. I don't think I want to do that fight. Yeah. yeah. So for the halflings, I think we want to split into a few different stacks. Probably even go three stacks, which is quite unusual, but it's fine, right? Okay. 
And yeah, so for today, Mage Guild is just fine here. Ooh, there it is, off to the side. And magic, kind of a bit of a sideshow in the castle, but you can't see, my screen's still pretty big. How does that come out in terms of my screen location? I hope I'm, my camera isn't too big to spoil. I, I want you to see me, but maybe I'm taking up too much room, I don't know. Maybe after I release this you can tell me what you think. It'll probably end up being a few different videos, you know, like episodes and stuff. Anyway, the Mage Guild has, the spell you can't see is Haste, which is a good one. Magic Arrow, Bless, Shield, Haste, that's a very good level one, Mage Guild, um, which is nice. Let's end the turn for Bretonia. What is that little teepee? Trailblazer? What's that do? I've forgotten. Jury the Mercenary, okay. Jury, I believe, a mercenary is a uh, hero of might. Uh, okay, jury duty. Alright, let's do this fight with the halflings. I'm pretty confident here. I'm pretty confident. Ooh, gross. Ew. Oh, I don't like that. There's, look at these idiots. Uh, I'm gonna shoot first. Okay, shoot. Do I just plonk the griffins here to try to soak up damage? I think I do. I'd rather lose a griffin than a marksman. Well, is that true? Yeah. Oh, these, these things are going to hurt, sadly. Surely that's too tempting. Surely you want to shoot him. Yes! Good lad. That's what I want to see. That's absolutely fine. You can have four of them. Uh, I guess I'll shoot you. Griffins will kill that. Yeah, why don't you kill that, actually? Kills two to four. Kills three to four. Well, let's hit this one. These 23 are going to come down, but. Okay, I probably messed that up. Right, because he's got movement five on grass. Oh no, he's got movement five as well. Ugh, look, I'll do this. I I, that's probably wrong. Shoot me, shoot me! Oh, I still lost one, damn. I think I did lose one more, at least one more pikeman than I needed to in that fight, but I'd rather lose five of them than four marksmen. I still don't like losing any, really. Okay, these are all useful. Now, as for the Horde of Nymphs, that's a completely different story. Uh-huh. Grab a bush. Okay. And this one will hurt. That that makes me especially not want to do that fight now. But, so we will just respect them. Okay, can I do better than one griffin? Okay, I actually get to wait. I'm, my marksmen are faster than the nymphs. That's really nice. They do have positive morale, which stinks. But it won't matter. Will it matter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that won't matter. So I just get to wait. You guys have all waited. Okay, so that means you're... These guys are all just staying put. Terrible. Now this will be a straight kill. Look at this. Watch this. Bang. He didn't even need his second shot. That's how good. That's how good. He doesn't even need two shots. Do your worst, love. Now from long range, doesn't matter. That's enough. Said it in the tier list videos, marksmen are special. And there's just never a reason not to go for them and make a big deal out of them. Oren was just, okay.
We said navigation, let's just see. Take the leadership for now. Okay. So let's do that. Go in there, learn these cool spells. Uh, would 14 Python make her a viable... 14 Python against lots of gnolls. Lots of gnolls. Probably not. So let's just get that money, because that's going to help fund that. I don't think I'm making her into an actual... Actual factual hero. Oh, I'm 250 away. I'm going to resist the temptation to buy anything. Or sell anything. 250. Okay, well, one way to look at it is this, right? The City Hall prints an extra one grand a day. So by wasting a day, I lose a grand. So this is kind of like selling 10 stone for 1250. Right? 10 stone for 250 is terrible, but 10 stone for 1250? Uh, you can make a case either way, couldn't you, really? Cause... Well, let me just see. What, what needs stone? I want 5 stone. I want 5 stone. We all want... Well, these three things want 5 stone. Each upgrade of the guild requires five stone. The Citadel wants five stone. I'm gonna have twenty if I do this. There's still some free stone sitting around out here. I think it's actually close because stone isn't the way I've set the template up. Stone isn't that abundant. Uh, wooden stone, there's not as abundant as, as, as normal. But I still think this is worthwhile. Uh, just because of the sheer impact that that two fifty gold has. Bang! City Hall, baby. Right, so two grand per day becomes our new income uh, before the end of week one, which is great. So, if you can build your City Hall while expanding and exploring in that first week, you, you, you're on to something. Glyph of Gallantry, pretty good. Lots of imps. I don't need a very big army to do these jobs. Uh, do I want to just gallop past here? Orin, why don't we do a bit of Orin first to just help us decide? It's day seven. I'm not going to wait here. I don't think I can do Medusa stores. No, I can't. That's going to hurt too much. I could wait here though, couldn't I, for tomorrow? But yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to try to smash in through the horde of Null Marauders. Right. As for tomorrow's troops, growth of 9 per week, so that's going to cost 1350, I think we said. Yeah. Uh, these bad boys only cost 700. So because I have tomorrow's soldiers ready to go, I can invest today. And I could go Citadel. So instead of getting Swordsman started, you just get more Marksman. It's been a while since I played Castle. I think I do want to do this. Upgrades the Citadel, giving me even more of these per week. Mm. Do I gallop back now in anticipation, or do I gallop on? Yeah, okay. I think I've decided. I'm coming back. Again, not what you want to be doing, but I think it's okay. Is it optimal? Almost certainly not. Right, Oren, do this. Grab that. Great. He could grab a spell book on his way through. Yeah, let's do that. And then he can pick up the army. 
Yes. So he now has some spellcasting ability, not very much, but oh well. Okay. Okay, so this is all the guys we have in the world. Uh, I'd like to come down here. You're gonna have to. One of you is gonna have to double back, so it may as well be Caitlin. Okay, they meet for the first time. Caitlin greets Oren out of the field. Greetings, Sir Knight. Milady. Well, that's quite the display of archery prowess you have. Indeed. Does Oren get another shot? I get another shot. I get another shot. Yes, he does. He does. Sorry. Let me get over this. Uh, how many dudes do you really need, Caitlin? How does this work again? What if I want to share? I can do it the old-fashioned way, do it. I want to give you what, like, say, ten? Should be enough to go and do the job that's up there. Nine? Is that too greedy? How many do you need? You can have as many of these guys as you want. Um, how many of these do you want? Take all these ones. Um, what do we think? Something like this? It will. I think it will. Knolls are just absolute gravy for swordsmen. Okay, Caitlin, let's see what you can do to lots of imps. Maybe we should get the glyph first. Let's get the glyph first against a horde of oceans. Oh, that's quite a lot of oceans, actually. I thought it was lots. They're faster than me, too. No, I'm rethinking that now. I'll do the imps, though. Go waiting. Come on over, you little impy dudes. Oh, sad face. Over here. Yes. Do it kills the whole stack, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, did I mention these guys are good? There's only ten of them. No, oh, hang on. You're gonna act, and then you're gonna act. Right, let's kill you. Oh, I can't do this. Now. Well, that's a bit. Of Do your thing, man. Uh, okay, and the turn on day one. Yes. Soldier Tower, I guess, Caitlin, some defensive knowledge. It's just the first thing she's ever learned about defense. That's uh, a miracle. Okay. Just pick that up. Thank you kindly. Grab that. The wishing well does matter because of intelligence. Yep. Should have done that on the way up. Bit of a waste of, probably wasted a move there. Um, all right, Oren. I got forty-seven hundred bucks. Do you want to go back and do something? Like we could get Albanese, maybe. Well, yeah. Stables would be good. Need a barracks for that. 
No, there's just no need yet. Going to do that. He's equipped. He's got what he needs. He wants a pattern of free will. Okay. And lots of pipe, but here's the perfect Szechuan sauce. And they do have good movement on the grass, these halberdiers. Just a little concerning. I would have high morale if I was you. Uh, I see where you're coming from. I get it. I agree. How could you not with these guys? With these guys in your team. Okay, I'm actually not killing very many. I'm only killing two to four with each shot. Good bless. This is okay. It's not amazing. Kill two of them. <laughs> Yeah, I might just save his spell points. I don't think they do they do it enough. I mean they're still egregious casualties, aren't they, relatively speaking. Um, Alright, stay put. No morale here, that's the key. No morale. Right, now you're in trouble. Okay. Shit yeah, damage. Uh yeah. I left him there. That was stupid of me. Okay. Okay. Mercenaries practicing their combat tactics, and they are delighted to welcome more into the ranks. Plus one attack skill, my man. Lad. Okay, let's talk build. It's only day two. I don't actually have to build anything, and instead I could consider buying Edric, the Griffin's guy. Armourer is good. Or Ingham. I don't like monks, really. And mysticism. Well, mysticism's not too bad in Horn of the Abyss, but yeah. Could hire a hero. The only problem is, what am I doing with that hero except just running around? Like, I'm not really doing anything with that hero. What can I do? Pretty low regret would be barracks, because I want... I'm going to want stables. I'm going to want Griffin Tower. Barra everything needs barracks, so you can't really build the town without building the barracks. So there it is. Swordsman, online. I'm not getting the hero yet. I don't really need or want either of those heroes. I don't have a great job for them. Unless their starting army is bonkers. No. Okay. Okay, Caitlin, press on. Bloodlust. Now I have the wood. I could get in a boat now. Hello, Archer's Tower. Oh, guarded by a pack of air elementals. Now, do air elementals take extra damage from Magic Arrow? Kill one with a, with thirty damage. That kills one elemental, which is to kill these, and then we can side up after. Right, you can overdo this having too many little stacks. I think if you're up against. Yeah, no way. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's actually quite bad. Um, Let's wait, we'll probably have to cast some spells here now that I've made that stupid mistake. I've forgotten that um, it, it messes up your whole uh, ordering of things. Uh, yeah, you come to here. Can everyone else wait? Do these go down to 10 marks? Magic arrow, maybe? 
30 points of damage, kills 5. I have 40 spell points. Haste, magic arrow, shield, bless. Yeah, I think let's just lay it at the I'm worried that this stack of 10 is going to take a, a hit, otherwise. You're okay here. Come back here. It's okay, it's gonna kill one stack, you know, and then no, I think it's just fantastic. Well I could just do this. Variable. Don't think I need to. Right, just let me do it. I'll take it from here. Like the ten, this ten could kill these four. Happy with that. Yeah, no roll. No roll for you. Okay, good. So if I kill you. They leap as they die. Excellent, gentlemen. Caitlin, thanks for the help. I think that was the right call then. Use some of your magic powers to help us out once in a while. So you can run through here. Once these guys are dead, it'll be a nice thoroughfare. I just don't know how I'm going to kill them. I don't really have a plan. I should have read the text, sorry. I like to read things sometimes. Ooh, long ago, this guy caused me to forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Total recall. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to invest in Oren's education at the School of Magic. And we have money to spend, baby. We've got money. What do you want? What do you fancy? Ooh, I can build this, but I need two sulfur and two gems that I don't have. Where are we going to get that? Sulfur and gems. There's nothing. It's just crystal. Oh, there's more gnolls here. Let me just check back in here again. So I have four crusaders. So I just don't need to do that, really. Extra wood and a wall, I said, well, I don't need that. Griffin Tower, sure. Griffin Tower is cheap, it's only a thousand. So I think my plan is Griffin Tower, Crusaders and Castle, and then next week I just stick to these three units. So I'm just going to build the tower. I just think that's a pretty low regret. Seven griffins is pretty good starting point. Crusaders and griffins could kill these. Alright, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Let's see if it works out. Okay, it's a first level spell here. Let's take the time and go do that. Shield. That's not an amazing prize. I could invest here in her. That school of war. I said I'm not, not investing in the heroes, but I guess I mean I'm not investing in more heroes. Uh, and there's a harpies. Ooh, harpies aren't great for us. Oh, harpy hags. They're a. They're going to be a problem. Um, they are going to be a problem. I had wanted to do this before the end of the week and flag this. Let's do this first. Okay, 
for hitting. They go the wrong way, that's great. Everyone comes on up. Sorry guys, I'm not even sure I need spell points here. Waiting. Ugh. Mate, you guys. You poor hapless. Uh, that's actually short range. Ask you. Is it is it even humane? Absolute murder. Ten. Ten soldiers. Ah, she's amazed to see even more answers. Air magic, hello. Dolly. Air magic. Well, she knows haste. She doesn't have any other particular reason to take air magic. But it's air magic. I'll just take it. Lots of grenadiers. Mm -hmm. Oh, gems. Oh, I need those gems. I those gems. But I also need sulfur. You know? So getting the gems is kind of pointless if I don't have the sulfur. Get past that bottleneck in my development. Lots of grenadiers. So I'm just going to take the scouting, come back, hit this, try to make a decision about the air elementals. This dude, knowledge is better, initially. Just so I can get multiple blesses and stuff like that. I think I could probably make a case of the opposite. Pendant of life. Another guy, everyone wants something. That's the problem. Everyone wants a piece here. No one's ever satisfied. See his hut. No, what's this next thing? Learning stone? Boom. Well, I could work him towards an expert bless guy, and then he blesses the marksman. Blesses the zealots. Hmm. What else can he do with water? He can prayer, teleport. I don't think I love water magic enough. Even though expert leadership is a bit of a waste because he already has triple. They already have maximum morale without his expert leadership. Water magic on this guy. Hmm. I mean, I'm just not sure Bless is actually that good in the castle, ironically, right? Marksman deal 2 to 3 damage. <laughs> Angels can't be blessed. I mean, you can, but that doesn't do anything. They kind of come pre-blessed. And Bless is the main reason I want to take water, usually. So, yeah. I'm just going to do that. Unimaginative, but functionally awesome. Okay, so the plan was, yeah, castle? I guess I can decide at the end. I can upgrade these next week, so let's just do the bastion for now. That'll increase the count of griffins, 13 per week now. Six per week, I mean, we're gonna have so many soldiers next week. Is this right to not have a third hero? It just feels very... Like, I could have a guy out in the water by now, couldn't I? Is that better? Get Edric up here, get one of them in the water. Not really, right, because Katie can just be that water girl, and then I can come back through here and do this with someone who has a decent army. I have to say, green looks like it's messing around. What? This purple hero has gone back and forward and back and forward. Okay, go there. That's good. 
spell power. So that's great news. Let's teach her a thing or two about attacking. Now we're doing this. Pack of air elementals. Now's the time to do it. No one's coming to help her. She gets a badge of courage if she pulls it off. So on my wiki here, it's telling me air ellies are speed 7, HP 25. So she can only kill... Oh, she got the spell at Star Axis though. So she can kill two now with a single magic arrow. I think that probably pips it. So I think now she can do it, now that she's visited the Star Axis, ironically. Ironically? Just, no, not ironically. That's not correct, but you know what I mean. Why is it ironic? It's not ironic, it's just a thing that is now true that wasn't true before. <laughs> a horde doesn't matter, though, because I have 23 of these now. And on top of that, I can cast... Oh, really crappy magic arrow. <laughs> really bad magic arrow. I can bless. I might bless the um, archers. See how this goes. Ooh, 88. It's actually no joke. Um, come here initially. That's okay. Not a problem if it happens on turn one. Where did you say you can get to? Just here. Mm -hmm. I probably won't use that, but let's just see. That's fantastic. Oh, this doesn't matter now. These guys are. I did. Come here. You have your second move. I... Yeah, just defend myself. And I think it is Bless, right? Bless you, my children. Murder those things. Yeah, that's not really necessary, right? Two shots. Absolutely unfair. Oh, the Bless has already run. <laughs> that's how bad he is as a spellcaster. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, just wait. Probably do nothing. Yeah, just need to be a bit careful here. Is there a reason to waste his life, or can you just walk to here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. So you guys are all down there in the valley, beyond the swamp, right? And there's a big physical ridge separating you from me. So, um, I have a crossbow, I have 23 men, trained, expert leadership, um, and under the watchful eye of an expert archer, up on, the, up on the bluffs, up on the cliffs here, and that my, means, my friends, that you guys are profoundly dead, I mean you're beyond dead. You're looking at dead in the rearview mirror. You're wishing you were dead. Um, well, I'm trying to make sure I don't lose anyone. But I guess if he gets a morale, he does hit the griffin, so I might as well stop that from happening. Mm, I should probably be leveraging 20 a bit better than I am. Advanced Archery seems amazing for him. Power skill of enemy could be quite good for Oren, actually. If he's going to be a marksman guy with archery... Give a haircut to all those incoming lightning bolts. 
Well, yeah. Like reducing it by 10%, if they've only got four power in the first place, it doesn't do anything. It round, I presume it rounds back up to four. It's only if you're up against a really mega powerful mage, like level 11 spell power, and then it makes it 10. I find it annoying as the player when I've got a hero of magic to go up against interference, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's enough of a thing. An advanced archery pays dibs right now. Against? That is a lot of skeleton warriors, isn't it? A throng? Like, if it is the 240, we're really, really... It shouldn't be, though, right? It should just... Because it's quite early in the game. It's week two, day five. And even if there is... Okay, it'll suck to have lost this army, but... I think he can do it. Change my mind. I think he can do it. Step there, step here. Ooh, look at the order. Ah, 117, you little ripper. Yeah, we can wait with impunity because morale risk is 0, 0.00 recurring. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what was I worried about? Uh, just so good. The thing is about, in the early game with Castle, if you're doing this and you've got someone like Auron, it becomes a little bit fish in the barrel. And I'm worried that it might not be the funnest viewing. Oh, Annihilation! I'm worried it might not be the funnest thing to watch. Um, I'll kill that one with the griffin, hopefully. Um... There's not really any other faction that does this. Like with Rampart, I haven't played Rampart in ages. I must do that on the channel at some point. But you do need to get to the um, your, your Grand Elves, and they require a lot of wood to um, to get. Which is, if it isn't to hand, um, you could be messing around with Centaurs and Dwarfs. There's a little bit more going on in that early part of the game. Um, who hasn't moved yet? Is that you? And the one, I think I just stay still. You can come to here. And you do nothing. The one comes over and dies to the griffin. I kill that. Griffin comes over. Yeah, tries to do this. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of counterplay, a little bit of someone other than the marksman doing all the work for change. Not really there. This is very decadent to just hit the defend button, but there's no morale risk at all. Oh, okay. You can do that. Oh, that's just so good. That's just so good. Okay, we won't be going through there anytime soon. Good to see you fellas. <laughs> We're just gonna mosey on down the road here and uh, <laughs> don't mind us. I want the Lady Bird of Love. Yet another person asking for something. Tell me that Shield of the Damned is unguarded, along with the gems, please. I don't know for sure that I'm building the castle, but I do know for sure that I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna do the thing that I'm sure of. And we're in Crusader territory, baby. Oh yeah. That's good. Let me just fix my hair. One of the kids stole the gel. I, I, I have this wax that I put in the front. And I swear one of them's taken off with it. So, like, my fringe is all kind of... It's not what I wanted to be showing the viewing public. Um... Maybe that's a point of intimate detail I didn't need to share, I don't know. Don't know. I'm still not buying Eric? Edric? And the answer is no, because what I'm going to do with him, all I'm going to do with him is get some windmills, muck around, maybe get in the boat. But that's a job she could just do. She could just get this, unlock that, boom, jump in the boat. Someone else could come along and do things after she's gone. Might be able to leave Marksman at the shipyard in one of the pieces. Is that a thing? Maybe. 
because that would be epic if I could leave if I could leave soldiers there and she jumps in the boat that way that would be amazing okay still not buying Edric yeah oh finally I feel like we're ahead of these two Okay, Caitlin, been looking forward to this fight. This should be really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna be magic arrowing to support the team. Let's get this done. <laughs> I don't actually know what happens when you click t tick. I think you do lose all your soldiers, right? You should. So anyway, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, right, we die horribly. There's no morale though, I should be able to do this. Yeah, but I can kill them. I can just do this for 50 damage and that kills them. What am I missing? I don't actually kill. Our health left one? Come in. Um, I guess I want to keep this stack alive. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Need to be a bit careful here. So these guys next turn can't get to me. Oh, that one is so annoying. What kind of damage am I looking at? Two to eight? And they all like before me next turn. Okay. So someone has to take the hit from this and this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think it's essential that he takes that hit. You're gonna have to just waste that. Good shield here. That gives him an attack though. Okay, yep, yeah, so this might have been a mistake. As soon as someone gets next to the marksman, it's lights out. Okay, these two boys are definitely dead, so they can stay where they are. Oh, great. Didn't even lose one. That's fantastic, boys. Excellent. Excellent. So the only thing I can do is bless, because the bless guarantees... Well, how much was I off, was not these stats are hard to interpret, right? 19 to 29 damage. Let's have a chance of killing two without blessing it. I think I kill this stack. And then I kill this. And then let's see if we can get two in one. Oh yeah, we can, because that's magic arrow, that's right. And then Yeah, just stay still. Ah, oh, fantastic. Two air elementals can't kill him. Pikeman. How good is a pikeman? So stodgy. And this is exactly the design of the castle, right? These things are 10 HP for a level 1 character. The dude is really, really good. Um, go for the slightly injured stack. Why do they only have 24 left? Why is that? No, because they've... They've all got 24 instead of 24. Because of the little dudes that they attacked. Yeah, so we just attack. Ah, oh, boom. Five there. Alright, kill this. Um, one of you left. I could kill this. Uh, the problem with that 
is that this guy gets an attack. But I have 10 HP. You have attack 9, I have defense 4. Oh man, I don't want to lose a marksman. One of those 8 goes down. Good game. Great game. Great fight. Now, please don't be guarded by several marksmen. Sad. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Grab the badge. After saving young boy from a vicious pack of wolves, you return to his father's manor. The grateful nobleman awards you. Badge of courage. Caitlin, I bestow upon you this badge. All your dudes get plus one morale. Have some more crystal, it seems to be in fashion. And that's now fully unlocked and ready to go. Now these nine archers want to be upgraded. I have to take them back. I actually want to see, can I leave troops here? I'm almost certainly buying a boat and spending the money on that and being happy with that. Yeah. Um, do that. And then if I push spacebar... No, it just wants to build more boats. Okay, right. So she can either get in the boat now and take all this awkward s troops with her out onto the water, or, 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 now we hire Edric. Um... And he's a pretty good chance of getting there, because that's what Caitlin can do. Oren, do your thing and then we'll decide. Certainly. Ooh, lots of Corsairs. Yeah, they're, um... They're... that's too good. <gasps> Ooh, I see a mine. Crystal again. Oh man, Master Gremlins. I just don't have the composition for these fights. A horde of whites I made me do that. So I think I can win that fight. Day six. I don't need to. I could get I could go home. As soon as someone gets next to the marksman, the fun is over and it just flips from being a really, really one-sided fight to being a completely losing fight on the other side. So I think, for minus one luck, I don't need to... I think I probably will be, would easily beat them. I just don't need to take the risk. I do want to gallop on. I mean, scouting is just too good. Board of Magi on the way. Get that scout. Oh, same thing. Right. Swordsmen are actually way, way worse than whites. There's no way I'm doing that fight. And the prizes, well, the Griffin Conservatory would kill me. Lots of mummies is probably very doable. My prize is a portal. I thought they were just hanging for a second. I just want to see what this stuff is. I mean, I can't do these fights. Yeah, mummy has speed five. Attack and defense seven and seven. Health 30, but then does really low damage, only 3 to 5, so it's basically a tier 4 creature, but does quite bad, like, low damage, and moves slowly, like, quite a really bad tier 4 creature, maybe a okay-ish, tier 3-ish kind of creature. Movement 5, no morale risk, how many of them? Lots. Like, I'll easily, easily do that. I can stick my head through the portal. That seems okay. on these guys. Mm. Yes, 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 indeed. Come to here. Go there. Take a step. Take a shot. Okay. Let 
that's uh, white on. Yeah, so we're going to want to waste these guys' lives. You should move that. Hmm. Come on, I'd like a Marana Flash, please. You cast a really crappy magic arrow, kills barely even part of one. No, nothing doing. How about you, Slick? They don't deal much damage, they do curse, but... They don't always curse against me. Uh, he's no threat to me. Let's finish him off. Kill one exactly, and then he retaliates back, and he's protected while standing there. That worked quite nicely. If this was a kill, I wouldn't make that attack. Oh no, hang on, I've messed up. Messed up. Messed up, messed up, messed up. Didn't see that. Didn't think of that. Didn't think that he would have his turn and retaliate back. Good chance I'll live. Nice. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, it's excellent. That's a great result. Kills zero. Kills one. Okay, no. Lost a griffin. Unhappy. Basic luck. I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan of luck, actually. With all that said, I'm going to take luck. I, I like a bit of luck. I don't think I need... I can take the expert archery when I'm ready. I, I like a bit of luck. I need a bit of luck. We all need a bit of luck sometimes. Especially when I'm going to make boneheaded decisions with my griffins and get them killed. Um, but yeah, Shaman's Puppet. I think it's probably the most unfair artifact in Lord of the Abyss. Uh, because of its rarity is that it's a common rarity and it just has, has such a huge effect on the battle. Um, right. What does that mean? After he's done all that, we still don't know what's actually through here. Um, so, Caitlin's none the wiser. She's looking at me saying, do you want me to get in the boat? Or do you want me to come back to town? What's it going to be? So, having bought the boat, hop in. 
I think I've said before in another um, stream, I like the old boat graphic. This new boat graphic, I don't know why they've made the boat bigger, given it extra sails and stuff. I quite like the old graphic, the old sprite for that. Not sure why they, not sure why they changed it. Um, okay, it's day six. If we're doing, it's two grand now for stables. Well, was it always two grand? It's a lot. Um, if we're doing this castle thing, now's the time. Yeah, I did the maths of this all wrong before because I'm going to get way more soldiers than this. Oh, that's right, I get an extra plus one. Good. Look, it's YOLO. Plus on top of that, it gives me the capital option. Capital. All I need is 10 grand. save all week and buy no soldiers, but... How sad would that even make me? Great. Alright, sticky head through, man. in the catacombs? Is that the sandworms? Free sulfur, which I need. I need that sulfur really badly. But I have to fight the lots of wizard warriors to get it. They are better archers than me. Well, mm, that's not true. They shoot harder. Uh, with their first shot, but they don't have a second shot. And then they're tougher to kill. Right? Um, they can't deal as much damage as I can. And they're slower than me. I can just stay where I am and keep looking up this way instead. I just do that. He has run out of road. He has run out of road, so... If... Mm. Yeah, no. Actually, I'm gonna start saying, just, yeah, give me the auto. No, oh, that's just... Tr not even. No. Not even two shots needed. Okay. Yeah. Dang, one shot. I don't think the stockpile is tenable. Um... Oh, that is useful. Now that is useful. The problem is a Pit Fiend is a nasty customer. Pit Fiends are really, really solid, solid guys. That looks like a library, can't use that yet. If it's 10, I think I would do it easily. If it's 19, I'm probably dead. So I don't actually need to take the risk of that fight. Um, I don't have anything for him to do in the meantime. Right? So I am going to cry off that fight. I don't need to do any investment today. Right. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. I'm not hiring Edric today to go. He'll miss that anyway, that windmill. That's just no point. I just don't think there's any point. I'm leaning towards doing that. Building towards that at least anyway, and that means that Oren isn't coming home. There's no pressing need. I can see a campfire here he might be able to unlock. So that's something, right? 
Um, we're definitely not hiring that third hero, is also what it means. Okay. And that means we're going without these windmill resources. Maybe for week three, but maybe we'll get them by the end of week three. Um, regardless. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Not building, not hiring. Ending the turn. It's a bit of a gamble. I don't know how it's going to pan out. Wyvern Monarch Growth shouldn't hurt us too badly. Caitlin starts us off, and I see no reason to waste her time by finding nothing. And the Flotsam, that's worth doing. But on the off chance this thing has some money in it, I'm just going to beeline there. Okay, there is money and ore. That's amazing. Ore is awesome. Shipwreck? I maybe could do the shipwreck? In Horn of the Abyss, it'll tell you what... Uh, what's here. We do have this Temple of the Sea, and that is um, not going to be doable, I don't think. Yeah, so I just looked up the Temple of the Sea. We won't be doing that anytime soon. It's basically a dragon utopia out on the water. Uh, this is effectively what it is. So will we go for the shipwreck and see what's here? I think we'll be surrounded by whites, is how it works. Um, I think we'll sail that way, and we'll make a decision tomorrow about whether to, to look it up. I think we're saying we don't want to go home today with Oren. We want to run around under here and hopefully find some more stuff for him to do up here. One question. Should we remove the Pit Fiends now, while there's still a pack, and while we're here? I think the answer to that is no because they should be easy to clear. Whoever's coming back here once they're level 10 to do the library can easily clear them. It's just not worth the risk, right? Ooh, that, that's good. Is that free? No, that's not free stuff. That's a throng of fire elementals. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's all gone horribly wrong. Uh, we can't, oh, we can't get through here. Okay. Looks like we're going home. I'm not galloping all the way back round. I'm just going to go for this now. I can't send him home because there's nothing for him to do. And this fight isn't without risk, so why am I doing it? So come to here. I think this is right. It feels slow and doddery, and we could get massively punished. But I want a capital, and then in week four, I'll be a real boy, I promise. Now with the shipwreck... Let's see what we can do. Will it tell us how many we're up against? 10 to 19. Okay, so it's either 10 or 15, that means. And I think we can do this fight. We're going to need some magic arrows. We're going to need them to not have plus one speed. It's only 10, and we do get the first turn. So that's beautiful. Okay, they have speed five. Okay, that's excellent. And as you can see, that's exactly how it's going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just what we thought would happen. Okay, we don't really want either of these two guys to get a turn and um, they will definitely die to my shot. But before we hand over, I think we want to deal 50 damage to that stack with a magic arrow. I have to say, a cleric with four power and three knowledge is turning out to be pretty darn good. Like, how good was the air elementals? She, she was absolutely clutch against them. Surround these boys. Let's go. I think just do this. Oh! Wow. And marksman archers, they're so good that they often... You can do a fight where it's like, oh man, there's a breeze. What was I even worried about? But you're right to worry still, because if you miscalculate, get it wrong, and these guys get next to your archers, it is just so much worse. It's such a bad time. I only needed one magic arrow for this fight. Fantastic. You know, it feels so one-sided, right? Armor would be good um, in general, but I don't plan on taking a lot of damage. Caitlin's deal is to throw magic arrows. You know, okay, one day she's probably going to give these archers back to Orin. She'll have an army. Mm, armor could be okay. 
Advanced air magic doesn't help magic arrow much, I don't think. I'm trying to remember here, what happens? Um, magic arrow, so it's spell power times 10 plus 10 damage. But if I go up to advanced air, well, I have advanced haste, that's quite nice. That gives something a plus 6 to haste, to, to speed. Yeah. I think this is going to pay bigger dividends than the armor. She got attack skill and we get two grand. Oh, Caitlin, I love you. And I love your 350 bucks. Oh, day two and we're on nine, eight people. That's fantastic. That is such, that is such a huge swing. Okay, well now I'm even rethinking our whole strategy with Oren because I could build the capital today. Today. It can be done. Come here. Let's just see what we've got out on the water here. Where is she going? I don't really want to land on this person's coast. I'm going to get slaughtered as soon as I do that. But the scouts would be good. So let's do this. Probably not useless. Oh, I see something. Can't get to it. Okay, we'll try to get that tomorrow. Well, there's still no point Oren coming back today. He's got a chance right now. If he's going to do it, today's the day. Now's the time. You're here. But I do actually have a viable plan B. I can do this tomorrow. I will beat the gremlins. They will hurt, but I will beat them. I can also do this fight. And I've been emboldened, I think, by that fight at the shipwreck. Even though there was only 10 of them. There's 50 of them here. Um, and I have no magic arrow. Hmm. Got twice as many sh archers, though. Unless he's going to venture forth with a subset. Like, he could venture forth to the Dwarven Treasury, put the archers in the middle. Or put the archers in one corner. That could be a thing. What if we go to the Dwarven Treasury with these marksmen that are in here now? Yeah, that could be a thing. Okay, let's get ready. Um, I think I want a second stack of griffins. For frustration purposes. Okay. Keep these guys close. Something like this. This is going to be a tough fight. I think. It's going to be a very, very one-sided fight one way or the other. If the Pit Fiends get next to the Marksman, basically it's end of... it's lights out. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. It looks like I made a made a boo boo. Let's see if I can do better. They have lords. That's he's going to raise demons and stuff. That means. someone to come into short range, thank you, okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, come here.
All right, fire this shot. So the damage estimate. How lucky was that? The one morale flash I got is on the most important stack. The damage estimate when I hover over is only for one shot. I'm realizing I didn't want this stack to die. He's going to come back now as a demon. So I'm going to have to pile in. Can I kill one? Yeah, okay, well that's good. So he can raise one demon back now, I think that means. But I'm going to put him there as bait. No, there it is. Okay, so he did bring a demon back. On my turn, I'm just going to wait. Let these guys do their thing. They're going to muck around. Yeah, just wait. This is all totally fine. Um, now, I think we wait because we want to make sure that... This thing's already moved, right? We want to make sure that we're frustrating and moving them. Oh, that was my bad. That was my bad. I did not see that. Oh, okay, that's just stupidity on my part. I can deal massive damage to the demon, but I'll be... Defend. Defend. Try and attract as much attention as you can. Okay, moment of truth. The problem is that that stack's gonna die. So is it better to just kill the Pit Lord now? Let's kill him. That way he's out of the picture. And we really need to try and pull these guys away from the action. So I'm quite happy to throw these griffins away. In order to get that done. On my turn, I'm going to shoot. Yeah. Okay. Um... Great. That's good. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, so can I put some damage on it? Best idea I've got. Good. Beautiful. Excellent. He doesn't even die. <laughs> Legend. Um, okay. I could actually walk out and stab this dude. This feels a little bit better. Oh, yuck. So a morale flash ends the game like I'm just dead to that, I think. Morale flash on him. Right, there's no way to defend that. Could bless this guy. Yeah. That's useful. That's good damage. Okay. 
great. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> the thing is this game, right? Again, for those of you who are new to the game, the emotional turmoil it puts you through, it takes you to the very edge of despair and then brings you back from the clutches of defeat. Yes, apply that result. That was very lucky. Made some silly mistakes with the Griffins and uh, we were hostage to fortune at the end there with um, the uh, morale flash on that pack of three pit lords. If that had happened, we're in massive trouble. The thing is, the marksman actually can fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat, um, but not very well. Okay, now, with that in mind, with that traumatic experience, in mind. Let's travel through the town gate back to Bretonia. I suppose because it's Bretonia, we, we really should be heading towards Cavaliers, shouldn't we? Champions. Um, again, for those of you who know Warhammer, uh, Bretonia is a whole kind of cavalry town. That's the whole point of it anyway. Um, or cavalry faction. I want to buy this huge set of shooters and destroy those two locations and then use the money to buy the capital. That's my strategy. Okay, so I'm going to buy these. Oren loves these 19 soldiers. Okay. Now, you know what would really help me frustrate and annoy the dwarfs and the skeletons and stuff is a handful of griffins. Let's just have two and then do this. And I think this army, as long as we can shield and there's no horrible morale effects, will beat the dwarfs. Give or take, right? So no more expenditure. We've spent money, which gets us away from the capital, but let's do this and feel better. There's zombies, walking dead, all that kind of thing. This particular layout should mean one, two, three. I guess I want my 13 here. The Griffins. The Griffins will be position six, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can beat the crypt. Looks doable. Let's search some graves. Looks doable. Looks very, very doable. Oh my goodness. And there's no morale risk here. <laughs> oh, you idiots. All my guys are on grass, they're all going to run away right at the beginning. How much damage does that kill? Yeah, it kills on sight. 42 marksmen at the hands of Oren are deadly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how we're meant to play the game. This is what I should have done in week one. In all honesty, this is absolutely what should have happened in week one. There's no morale risk here, so we really... That's one really exploitable thing with the undead. You can be guaranteed when you hover over, that's exactly what they're doing next turn. There's no risk of anything unpredictable happening. Looks scary, but in fact, no, it's not really. Still can't reach me. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I will have two piles on me here, which isn't great. Um, do here? What can you do? It's not all 
awesome. I can take the retaliation actually. I'll just do that. And if you guys can figure out how to kill... Ah, oh, that was cowardly. I should have just gone for it. Now I feel like an idiot. He can't help you, to be fair. Kills two to eight. You crack back. I have defense 11. I actually think this is a good attack. How good is a... Oh, I did lose one. Right. Okay, stay put. Lose two. I should have, um, I should have probably made two stacks of these. Two pikemen's actually a little bit more than I needed to lose. I think that it's a pretty obvious choice here. Mm. All right, do we want to do that for the dwarves, or do we want to stay like this? To have one absolute complete doom stack seems a bit OTT. Whereas I could do this. Right, one, two, three, and then slot six is the slot where we put a body to protect these two stacks. I think that might work better, because I still don't, I don't actually think this, well, <clears throat> 50 to 99, that's quite a lot on grass. I'm just going to leave like this. I think I'm going to be all right. No, they're not, man. They're not. 36. <laughs> Uh, uh, dear, I do. So the dwarves do get the plus one movement on grass, which is really annoying. Um, but I can get a body in front of there and there. So yeah, we'll just start shooting. Wicked. Griffins can stand here. These guys shoot that way. I think I'm probably overthinking it, like usual. Come on, where's that high morale you I'm so proud of? I'll put the 12 in front of... Yeah, I'll put the 12 in front of the 5. Hmm. Wrong guy. I'll just defend here. Put the 12 here. Interesting. Um, okay. That's actually not bad. To get that. Come to here. The 4 movement is actually quite annoying. What? Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that path. I lost a marksman. I just lost a marksman. I lost. I lost. Do you mean I'm not supposed to lose? <laughs> no, that's not tenable. Okay, this feels stupid. Another thing I could do is retreat. I gotta get them dead. Yeah, they're just so hardy. Annoying. All right, we gotta just play interference here. See if they'll take the bait. So we could run. We could use this turn to run back to here. Um, they go one. Yep, I think we ought to do the old interference. Ye old interference. I'm really surprised. 
getting getting kind of owned here, actually. So I go to here. Split up. really want to get hit by both with the 12, but I think I kind of have to. Yeah, I think I could lose all the pikemen here um, as bait. Okay, boys. Yeah, that hurts. Sorry, fellas. But it's for a good cause. Sorry, guys. acting first to five, is it? Okay. Find a sound in the game than a dying dwarf. Unhappy with that outcome. Uh, I have to look at back at the video. How did he jump on my marksman? I'm still really sore about that. Not happy. Not a happy man. Um, basic water magic, and I have bless. It's twice. It's fate. It wants me to take water magic. Now I don't have any spell power though, so I'm still saying no. I don't think I'm a great spellcaster. Four grand gets us back up over where we wanted to be, so the plan kind of worked, except it felt a little bit more ham-fisted and annoying than I wanted it to be. Oren is going to use that 15... No, he's not, right? Because all that does is pay for the... All that does is pay for the... Capital. Okay, so that was our plan, was to build the capital. We're still doing that, right? You don't want to spend the money on, all, on the soldiers? Because now we could buy the 15 grand's worth of soldiers... Tomorrow will be 15 grand, I can gallop forth and do what do what I said I was going to do. Yeah, I think I still build the capital. Um, and then I'm going to decide, what is Oren going to do now that he's here? This is the thing I've been trying to avoid the whole time. It's like, okay, I teleported back to town, woohoo. Now what? <laughs> You've got no money. Anyway, let's do what we came here to do. Boom! Very early capital. That might be the earliest capital you'll see on the channel. Month one, week three, day two. Um, I don't know. I don't think any of my other runs have got have, have, have got it built that quickly. So we're back down to no money, but we have set ourselves up. If we don't get an enemy incursion, there's a good chance now that we can buy all those soldiers and we can go kick some butt. I, I kind of like this idea of Oren going back down and just doing the crystal, doing a smaller job. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm happy to end it. The plan was to rebuild from this low position of not having very much money. Okay. Caitlin, I love that you're first up because the jets are moving. That's a pretty bad turn for her. Just a curling, wasted turn when nothing happened. Five stone. Pretty poor. Okay, Oren, pop your head back in, mate. And... Let's do that plan. Pendant Death Ripple is not something you need to learn. I don't want to spend money on your abilities.
Um, kicking around this possible idea. I think I want to leave all the griffins. I might take one. Maybe just take two with me. Just take two basic ones. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm all over the shop. Very cheap upgrade, by the way. And I'm going to have four of these. And then I'm going to take a small contingent of state troops unupgraded. It's impossible to know what, what is going to be a good config. I'm picturing the Master Gremlins. I want to fly over with these. Right, I want the, against the Masters, I want it to look something like this. Take another 500 worth of these. Like that's that's more meat, isn't it, for Oren? Like it's more it's more bodies. That's what he needs. And then I'm gonna use the rest of my money to hire Christian now. I'm feeling a lot more decisive, everyone. I'm 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 happier in myself. You know, I'm in a good place now. With what the H I'm actually doing and why I'm doing it. I've got a good reason for doing the things I'm doing. Never went there. Just don't have time though, right? I'm gonna waste a whole day to go and get that plus one defense. Life's too short. Go kill the gremlins. This has worked out really well compared to where I thought like last night as I was logging off. I was like, oh man, I've, I've ruined it. Okay, Christian, come on board, baby. The man himself. Look at him. Christian. It's always more of a frontiersman than a knight, having set foot in nearly every part of Enroth before finally settling down into military service in Arathia. Though a wanderer and a bit of a dreamer, his battlefield tactics are feared throughout the world. Now, I need 120 gold for that. Um, but your job really isn't to do anything other than gallop around and get things. I just like this. I can't explain why. Crystal again? Should have left the pikeman at home, maybe, for the movement. Um, yeah, okay, happy with that. With the Highlands, I've made the mistake of thinking that my opponents are flying. Something about the way they walk through that terrain that looked like they were flying. Okay, his army's pretty strong now, Lacus. He picked up a nice artifact there. So, should we be worried? Yeah, maybe we should. I'm gonna go this side of the survivor. Ooh, you pull a survivor from the certain death and be grateful he rewards you for your act of kindness. Ironically, by giving you the shackles of war. And I think the word ironic does apply here because um, kindness is not a word you would associate with the shackles of war um, I don't want to wear them uh, at least not yet but that's a very nice pickup um, for young Caitlin Caitlin where are we headed what are we doing can you get anything done at all out here In the middle of nowhere I think if we view earth again And see that there's nothing else out here. Over there, kind of. So would you be better as a hero back here on land doing magic arrows and winning some of these fights with Christian? Yeah, I don't think there's much else for her to do out here. Which is a shame because I wanted water to really matter. Ugh. It's not really gonna matter. More crystal, unsurprisingly. I can't get to that without fighting them, so I won't do that. Christian starts to learn stuff. Not scholar, absolutely not. No. Okay. Oh, he never bought a spell book. That was a mistake as well. 
Oops. 500 gold. Right. This was your job. I see no reason to... Well, can I beat lots of courses? Never bothered to stop for the spell points. So, yeah. Order of Lights. Order of Lights goes... Bye-bye. I like this configuration. Yeah. Should be comfortable. Really? Uh-oh. I don't have a scam on this. Like, I don't have a gimmick. Um, so, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just shooting. That's all I'm doing. Why, though? I've got... Look at my, look at my army. Why are the odds overwhelming? Am I just bad at the game? Can't answer that. Range coming up. No, oh, the Griffins are in an unfortunate spot here. Um, you'll have to stay there and probably die. But doesn't that just kill you? Am I wrong? What am I missing here? Oh, one sh I one-shotted you to 14. Like, how is this overwhelming? What are you talking about? I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> Defend. Run. <laughs> Run. Uh... Yeah, I think we do need to sacrifice these dudes. Um, you stay here. Oh, I feel bad, like your morale's so high, but it shouldn't be. It's not going to be a fun time for you. Um, do nothing. Wait on here. You're dead. Does he have left now? 16. Okay, right, so yeah, it's 24 shots, including that counts two per, per turn, basically. Okay. Um, stay where you are. Waste your time moving like an idiot. Well, I feel quite bad now. I feel almost mean. But you're dead. You're definitely dead. You'll act before my partner. Just play very dumb. Kill that stack, lose that guy. And then there's just no reason to do anything. Okay. Yeah, four's a bit more than I. I'm gonna look in here just to see what this spell is. Begetfulness. Okay, pretty good against me. Close by, on a mountain edge, you see a mage trying to cast a spell. Fiery symbols are already flashing in the sky when he, while blinded by the light, trips and falls down. He perishes! And you gather the chain of mysterious stones in your backpack that hitherto haven't been mentioned in the story. Um, I don't know if I'd be wanting to carry them around with me. Decrease the enemy morale, sorry, luck by one. Um, that's really good and really relevant, and it shows up, and it's going to affect all these incidental fights that we're going to have. We're going to see our opponents dealing minimum damage and stuff off the back of that. Very, very unfair and evil. <laughs> 